Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Let's start straight into the content because we are right at the edge of a big breakout, my friends. We don't know yet where we're gonna break out. We don't know yet if we're gonna see maybe a bigger sell-off right now after reaching the $62,000 all-time high that we had so far, or if here we're gonna see big continuation to the upside and maybe we're gonna see this mega pump that we also have discussed in yesterday's video before maybe we're gonna have some kind of bigger sell-off and then gear up to our final targets way above $100,000 per Bitcoin. All right, so in the lower time frames, it looks like that we should have here a big breakout to the upside incoming. We are right in a very, very critical point here because we are touching here our main support of this big rising wedge that we are still in. And as long as we are not seeing a big breakout and confirmation here to the downside or also to the upside here, we still cannot trade this. So what needs to happen here in the lower time frames is first we have to start to close four hour candles above the 20 moving average. And currently you can see that Bitcoin have some problems here to break through and of course also confirm it as a new support. But once it's done, then I'm pretty confident that we will go to attack here this resistance line here of around $59,600 and this is then the last resistance before we can take off here towards targets way above $70,000. But first, what we want to see here in the lower time frames is that we are able to close again four hour candles above the 20 moving average in the lower time frames and of course also start to trade again above the EMA ribbons here in the four hour time frame. It looks like that Bitcoin could have now this first initial pump here to break this important resistance here and then start to having it as a new support and therefore we're going to see then continuation to the upside. But we still don't have confirmations yet. We still need to be more patient. This potential breakout here can take some more hours and days. But in my opinion, we are about to see this breakout pretty soon. And as I told you right now, I wouldn't take profits here for the long term because even if we would see a sell off towards 40 to $30,000, in my opinion, it's not worth the risk to hope for that if you're taking out profits now. But of course, if you're trading with leverage here on Bybit or Femex, you definitely have to consider here to take a trade if you're going to fall off the cliffs here from our support. So in that case, it wouldn't be a bad idea to take a short because like that, of course, you can also make some gains if we are crashing down. But if here we're gonna see a breakout to the upside and an explosive move towards 75 to 100K, then I think uh, this will be maybe a good opportunity to take at least a little bit of profits out because in that case we could enter these take profit zones at least for now to then accumulate more Bitcoin if we're gonna see at some point a bigger sell off. So the lower time frames are still looking bullish in my opinion. This is only a matter of time here till we're gonna start to close candles above the 20 moving average and then we're good to go along again. And also you can see my own indicator that currently we are having some buy signals. Also money flow is coming in again here in the four hour. And after this reset that we have, we should now have enough fuel to go higher, way higher and potentially see this bullish breakout. Also the RSI is starting to go again above the 50 level. So everything is pointing out that here most likely we are able to close candles very, very soon above the 20 moving average. Let's hope that it's going to be today or at least during this week so we can have now finally this nice breakout to the upside and take out all of this all time high here of $62,000. And now let's go over into the daily time frame because as you can see here, we are still struggling to close candles above the nine daily moving average. The good thing is that we are above the 20 daily moving average and of course also above the EMA ribbons, but uh, we need here daily closes above this important moving average in order to have the confirmation that we are back in an uptrend and we should expect here a breakout to the upside. And in that case, the target would be up here towards $75,000 right here at the resistance trend line from this last tops that we had.
So the daily time frame, in my opinion, is still looking bullish here in the spot chart. And if we compare it now to the CME chart, where we don't have a new CME gap below of us, because yesterday, once the CMEs started, we immediately retraced back where the CMEs closed on Friday. So like that, we don't have a future gap. And as you can see, although in this chart, it looks like that we're building up this ascending triangle. And if we're going to see here a breakout to the upside, the measured target would be also here at around $75,000. And here on the CMEs, we never closed a single daily candle below the nine moving average. So the CME chart is looking very bullish. And here also we are right at the edge of a big breakout, my friends. And that's why I still think that here we're going to see a successful breakout to the upside. Everything is still pointing out that uh, here we should see continuation to the upside even though if here we're gonna start to fall off the cliffs here if we're gonna lose the support that we have of around fifty six thousand five hundred dollar we could see here a potential sell-off but in that case if it's happening right now i think we have a lot of important supports below us that could save us and that's why i still think it is too risky to take out profits here or taking a short because we have so much support below us we have here the 20 daily moving average at fifty three thousand dollar also here the 50 daily moving average which is the bottom of the ema ribbons here right at forty five thousand dollar. this should also acting as a very strong support this level here which also previously acted as a resistance here with this forty two thousand dollar high and now of course it should be acting as a new support and if we open up the weekly time frame here also you can see that the 20 weekly moving average here is right at thirty six thousand dollar and that's why in my opinion it's not worth to take right now profits or taking the risk that we could fall towards $34,000 because here we should have enough support then to bounce back up so for the long term it's not really necessarily even if we drop here towards $34,000 to take out profits now but if you're a short-term trader if you want to sell or take a short then of course this trade could be very very profitable but uh, if you are thinking in the long term, if you're just buying Bitcoin to hold it at least a couple of years to then start to take profits, then in my opinion, it's not worth to take right now the risk to sell to hope that you're able to buy here $34,000 because it doesn't look like that we are here in a local top, at least not a cycle top. Maybe we are close to it, but I still think that Bitcoin can go way, way higher and way more parabolic than what we have seen right now. So the CM chart is looking in my opinion still very bullish unless of course today or tomorrow we're gonna close below the nine daily moving average here at fifty seven thousand three hundred dollar then of course uh, there is a high risk that we could fall off the cliffs here but so far we are trading above the nine moving average in and in my opinion as soon as in the lower time frames we have confirmations that we are back in an uptrend then it's good to go long and then am i also expecting here a huge breakout towards our next targets and also I just want to show you here the stock to flow model price level because currently we are still far away from our targets based here on the stock to flow model because here we should be reaching uh, prices way above 100k towards the end of the year and as you can see right now we are still in this stage when we are climbing up towards these prices and right now we are a bit overpriced because the stock to flow model price level says that we should be at around forty thousand dollar so that's why if we are seeing some kind of a sell-off i think right now i think that here at around forty thousand dollar we should have enough support also based here on the stock to flow model price level because on the way to the upside this always holds as a very strong support and at the other hand if right now we would pump towards this 100k area then in my opinion we are a bit too overpriced and we most likely gonna fall sooner or later back again towards here this blue line here which then maybe could be at around fifty thousand dollar and that's why my friends i'm telling you only take profits if things are really starting to overheat but right now we are still in this consolidation phase and even a drop towards forty thousand dollar isn't too bad and long term as i told you we are anyway going to way higher prices so don't 
freak out too much right now if you should take profits now or not only if we really would see a one last big parabolic mega pump towards 100k like i also told you in yesterday's video at this moment then yes then maybe consider to take out some profits but here at sixty thousand dollar i just think that it's not worth the risk just to hope that maybe you can buy back in here at 30 or forty thousand dollar so based on the stock to flow model price we are still on our way towards our bullish targets only if we would see here a big overheat in the price then maybe it's good to take a bit of profits out but otherwise everything is still looking very very good here and also if we have a look here into the 200 week moving average heat map you can see that right now with this week we are starting to get here in uh, dark green this usually happens right before we are starting our huge big parabolic rise up when then these dots also turn into red and you can see also here in the past in 2017 this ha happened here at around five thousand dollar this was right before these dots turned into red and then we had here this parabolic rise from seven thousand dollar up to twenty thousand dollar within a week or so and the same goes also here for 2013 um, this uh, dot turned into orange or dark green right before we had here a massive parabolic run up and then of course these dots turned into red and that's why my friends you see that we still have some room left to the upside and i think if we're gonna see a big parabolic pump here towards 75 to 100k then maybe there it's good to take a bit of profits out for now and then accumulate back into bitcoin once we're going to see somehow a bigger sell-off but otherwise for the long term it's good to just huddle bitcoin because we are anyway are going to levels way above 100k in the future but for now if we're gonna see 100k right now in april or may then i think we are too overheated and we will see one last big washout one big last sell-off before then we gear up to completely new levels way above 100k so i compare this cycle a bit more to this cycle over here in 2013 when we had two big tops here so if we're gonna see something similar then i really can imagine that first we're gonna top out somewhere between 75 to 100k then have a big sell-off towards the 20 weekly or 200 daily moving average and then gear up to levels way above 100k potentially between 200 to 400 thousand dollars and then maybe start a bear market until the next half Thing. at least this is my theory and this is what i'm expecting to happen here if we're gonna see a parabolic rise up here in the next coming days and weeks but for now here in the lower time frames we just have to be patient and wait until we're gonna see confirmations here that we are good to go long and then of course you're very welcome to join me with a nice long position if we are getting these confirmations here over on Bybit or also Femex because don't forget on Femex we have this special trading event going on starting on the 24th of March so make sure to join it we can win currently up to three Bitcoin the link is in the description if you want to join our team and this competition so definitely check it out and now let's go over to ethereum because ethereum is still trading sideways here we still have no big price movements here but as i told you as soon as bitcoin is going to have a big move then in my opinion also ethereum is starting to follow and maybe even outperform it because ethereum is still lagging behind bitcoin we're still far away from this all-time high that we had here of two thousand dollar and also here in the lower time frames it looks like that we cooled off all the indicators and we're ready to go now so hopefully we're gonna see also some fireworks here in the ethereum price because the charts are still looking very bullish here also in the daily we're trading above the 20 daily moving average and we're squeezing within the 20 and 9 daily moving average and that's why also here i'm expecting a big pump towards this all-time high of two thousand dollar and then most likely also break it to the upside ethereum is very much lagging behind bitcoin and uh, it's a bit sad to see that because usually ethereum performs uh, very well during a bull market so let's hope that also here we're gonna see some nice gains incoming pretty soon and now since the traditional markets are opening again we can have a look also here into the dxy because the dxy still tries to break this resistance that it has here at around 92 dollars you can see that we had now several attempts here to go higher but as i told you my friends the dxy is still in a bear market and i'm expecting here huge rejections at some point of course we could be in a reversal area here where we're gonna see a dead cat bounce or at least a big breather for the dxy 
but since we are now approaching very critical resistance levels I still think that the DXY most likely is going sideways or even continues to drop and that of course is in favor for the crypto market and also for the stock market. Here in the 4 hour time frame we now have some sell signals, all the money flow is negative so I'm expecting here continuation to the downside in the next coming hours. And that of course is in favor for the Bitcoin price that we could go back in an uptrend also in the lower time frames and therefore this would be in favor for a big pump towards our bullish targets for Bitcoin. And here in the daily time frame in the DXY chart you can also see that the 200 daily moving average is coming closer and closer to the price action. And this one here is right now at $92.60. So latest, once we are touching this moving average, in my opinion, we're gonna see a big sell-off again towards a 9 or 20 daily moving average here at around $90. The important thing here for the DXY for us is that we are not able to close daily candles above the 200 daily moving average. Because if here we're gonna see a trend reversal, if the DXY is starting to close candles above the 200 daily moving average and also bring all the other moving averages above the 200 daily, then things could start to look really ugly at least for the next coming weeks and months because in that case we're gonna see big continuations to the upside for the DXY and that could be a bearish sign for the crypto market and also for the stock market. It doesn't mean that we have to crash in all assets but usually when the DXY is starting to pump we see very often big sell-offs in all assets and that's why this would be really the worst case scenario if the DXY is able to close candles again above the 200 daily moving average but in my opinion here we will most likely get heavily rejected and we should see the DXY trading sideways here maybe even a drop lower towards 89 dollars which currently is the main support of it if we would uh, see a big fall here. And now we can also have a look into Nasdaq here at least into the mini futures because here it looks like that we are trying again to push higher. You see that on Friday we had a close below the 20 and 9 daily moving average which of course is a bit bearish but we didn't confirm it yet as a new resistance. So if this week we are able again to close daily candles above the 20 and 9 daily moving average then I think we are back in our uptrend here and we should also see here new all time highs incoming pretty soon but we have to keep an eye also here into Nasdaq because if Nasdaq here is getting rejected and we're gonna start a big sell-off towards the 200 daily moving average that of course could be also dangerous for the crypto market because if Nasdaq is pumping very often we also see Bitcoin pumping and that's why it would be very much in favor for Bitcoin if Nasdaq is also able to create new all-time highs. So Nasdaq currently is in a very critical point. Let's hope that we are able to close again daily candles above the 9 and 20 daily moving average. We just need to see what will happen in the next coming days. But the important thing is, at least here for the lower time frame, that Bitcoin is able to close again candles above the 20 moving average and come back into an uptrend here in the 4 hour time frame. And then of course also see follow through here through all our resistances that we have here. First this 59,600, then of course here the old all time high and then we want to see here big fireworks towards $70,000. And once we're reaching these targets up here in this resistance area, then we're gonna update again our cycle top indicators and see if there are some sell signals flashing. Then maybe we can consider to take out some profits if things are starting to really overheat here. But otherwise, in my opinion, it's just better to stay calm be patient and wait here for the next big price movements. Doesn't matter if they happen to the downside or to the upside. If you want to trade these short term moves, then of course you can do that over on Bybit and Femex, but otherwise for the long term, just buy more if we're gonna see right now a big crash down towards 40 to $30,000, just accumulate more Bitcoin then. But if here we're gonna see an explosive move here to the upside and we're gonna see prices between 75 to 100K incoming in the next coming days and weeks and things are starting to overheat then maybe we should take out a little bit of profits and then wait for the next big crash to then accumulate more Bitcoin. At least this is what I'm most likely gonna do. So right now I'm not touching anything. I'm gonna open up a long position if here we are back in an uptrend, if we're gonna get 
confirmation here at least in the four hour time frame and of course although you can trade this with my indicator over on discord if you're interested so if you would like to get access to my live stream indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin you can do this over on discord you just have to send me a private message here for a small donation you can get access to it but the chat is completely for free and everyone can join it you find the invitation link down below here in the video description once you have clicked it you can just go here to read first and click here on this thumbs up button because like that you're confirming that you're a human and not a bot and then you have free access to the trading chat so with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and if you need a Bybit, Femex, Binance, Coinbase account and so on, check out all my referral links down below here in the description because with my links you will get some extra bonus, some extra money and of course you also support the channel and if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage but you want to try to make some gains with your Bitcoin then try out Prime XPT because here we have a unique co-vesting feature where you can easily copy trade other successful traders. So here you just have to sign up with your email with my link down below here then you top up some Bitcoin here and you can just click here on follow on the trader that you would like to follow and like this if you catch the right ones you can also do some very nice gains. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.